Good Saturday morning, everybody. Pappy here at West Georgia Rods and Customs. You're right. If it's Saturday, it's what's on Pappy's bench. And I tell you what, I've had a good response on everybody wanting to see some of these old builds of mine. But uh, if y'all haven't got a shot card in to me, go ahead, uh, send me a, drop me a message down here below, and uh, we'll get you put up here on what's on Pappy's bench uh, just as soon as I get one in. I'm trying to get all my shop cards, uh, trying to get some. Uh, new ones done. I haven't sent a shop card out in a while and I really feel bad about it because uh, everybody's been doing this. I have done shop cards before, but it's just been, uh, I just haven't, haven't really taken the time to do any, uh, take any still photographs of any of my builds so, or my latest builds, just other than, you know, when I post them on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook. So I'm going to get started back on that and uh, just drop me a message down below. Pappy, I'd like to have a shop card and we'll exchange addresses and then we'll go from there. Anyhow, let's get started on the first one. I tell you what, uh, we'll get this one right here. Get the old stand put up in front of the old double nickel there. Had a great response last night uh, on the hangout, uh, Friday night hangout of what everybody would like to see of any of my old builds. And uh, it looks like this one right here is the one that took precedence. So we'll talk about it here in a second. But let's get into the shop cards right here. This uh, this fella right here, I tell you what, we've uh, <laughs> we've turned into just in, uh, instant friends just because of YouTube. And then we got to meet at Atlanta a couple times, and each time he comes down, we just uh, we just get closer and closer, and we're just. I tell you, I look forward to seeing Brian and his wife, Linda, down here at the Acme Show every year. But uh, get subscribed to BG Model Workshop, awesome content creator. He's on YouTube. I'll drop a link down in the description below. That way y'all can get uh, subscribed to him and uh, start looking at some of them at awesome work that he does. He also does, uh, uh, he and Lucas C does a show called The Model Car Guys, uh, which is just awesome. I really enjoy watching that. But uh, both of them are just awesome, uh, awesome friends, but they're great content pr uh, creators on YouTube. So get subscribed to Mr. Brian over there at BG Model Workshop and tell him Pappy sent you. Let's pull this out of the way. Let's get set, get this one set up here. Same thing about my old good buddy right here at Food Bar Model Yard. Benny, man, I tell you what, Benny is another one of those. We've known each other for a while. We haven't actually got to meet face to face, and one of these days it's going to happen. But uh, Benny, uh, Benny and Brian both, uh, we all happened up on each other through YouTube, but we also, uh, Benny, uh, used to would get on the uh, uh, Friday night hangout with us. Uh, man, they was just all kind of uh, builders that, uh, would come in, you know, sit in the chat and then eventually they'd come up on, you know, we'd, we'd put them up on the, on the screen live and we'd sit and talk model cars and just have, we had a great, we had a blast on that. That's why I'm wanting to revamp Friday night hangout, uh, to kind of get that, uh, camaraderie, uh, going again. And we're getting into the winter months here, uh, or fixing to get into the winter months. Uh, we're looking fall down the neck here pretty soon and we'll be all confined into the into the confines of the house. So uh, we're going to try to start getting that ramp back up again. But if you ain't subscribed to old Benny over there at Fubar Model Yard, get subscribed. It's this th We were talking last night about, uh, about this car uh, on the live. And uh, man, I tell you what, Benny is another one. Uh, Benny, free Kyle. If you, <laughs> any of you don't know what free Kyle means, get subscribed to Benny and he'll tell you what that is. Last but not least, and I tell you what, this uh, this fella right here is another one. He, uh, I, I tell you what, I envy him, and I when I put the card up here, what I envy him about, he is he's an awesome uh, builder. But he, this car right here is his uh, one to one scale uh, Camaro that he's got, and uh, Todd, man, that thing is awesome. But he's also awesome builder as well. So, uh, but get subscribed to Todd over there at Lug Nuts Hot Rod Garage. Uh, he, he, he provides content. He's, he ain't slow about it, but he's precise about his builds. And that's why he, he takes, uh, takes his time about his building. But, uh, uh, what's really taking his time is that thing right there. Man, I tell you, that Camaro is awesome. He's got some, uh, content on his page, uh, of him going, you know, to, to uh, rod runs and uh, car shows with it. So, but get subscribed to Todd H over there at Hot Rod uh, Lug Nuts Hot Rod Garage and tell him Pappy sent you. 
let's get this out of the way. Let's start talking about this old bill. This uh, this old girl right here, I tell you, man, we uh, uh, this one's been was a while. Uh, call this build a uh, double knuckle. Why? Because it's a 55 F100. Uh, this build was inspired by actually uh, a, one of our YouTube community members and a, a truck that I've seen uh, at the uh, F100 Nationals up in Pigeon Forge, or actually Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Uh, there was some photographs taken of it, and I actually have seen this truck up at the uh, F100 Nationals. It actually, it wasn't in Gatlinburg, it was in uh, Pigeon Forge. But uh, this truck is just, uh, what really inspired it also, just other than that, was a good friend of mine uh, at Man Cave Models, Shane Harrell. Uh, he built a truck one year, uh, it was called Barney. And it was uh, basically, why did he call it Barney? It was because it was purple. But uh, it was the same kit. I picked Shane's brain about things that he had done to that truck and kind of implemented them into my own build right here with the same kit. But uh, one of the things that I kind of was inspired from Shane's was the, uh, the tilt hood. I looked at his, talked to him about how he did that and uh, implemented that into mine as well. Uh, I wanted a bright color, which everybody knows if I'm building something, it's going to be, you know, it's going to be bright. So it's going to be either bright red, bright orange, or what have you. But uh, this is, uh, I have just problem after problem with this paint. This paint is actually Duplicolor. It's, uh, it's uh, hug, if I remember right, it's the, uh, uh, I want to say it's a Chevy Engine Orange. And uh, I sprayed that, and of course it was uh, covered with uh, the Duplicolor Clear. Uh, I had problems with it because I kept having some uh, fish eyes uh, pop up on it. And it was, I kept cleaning it, cleaning it, and I kept stripping it. I stripped this truck, or I stripped the cab, uh, in the, uh, stripped the cab several times. And uh, I think I had, to, after about the third strip, I was pretty much, well, aggravated. But it finally, I finally got the paint to uh, uh, turn out the way I wanted it. But it was just a, uh, it was, patience prevailed, and uh, this is what I turned out with. Uh, this build I took up to uh, the Whitewater Classic up at uh, Cleveland, Tennessee. This was uh, when they were ho uh, hosting their show up there. And uh, this took, uh, I believe, best Ford uh, uh, truck uh, at that show. So uh, this was, uh, this one started out uh, pretty in pretty good, uh, uh, pretty good uh, getting, getting something right off of the bat. Uh, that's the, everything is pretty much stock uh, as far as the engine. You can see down in there, I wired it, uh, plumbed it and wired it. Uh, let's see, did a lot of detail work in there. And if you can see on the interior, uh, did the, uh, kind of started the, uh, uh, two-tone, uh, type seats that I like to do inside. Did a, uh, did a wood grain bed, uh, in the back of it. Had to put tubs in this one and due to the, uh, Pegasus wheels that I, that I put on it. And uh, we'll keep spinning it around right here. I'm gonna drop the hood on it. I'm gonna let, you, let everybody see what I did up underneath it here in just a second. The Pegasus wheels just really, I feel just really uh, set it off uh, when, I, when I finished it. That hood just drops right down in there too. Shane had a great idea doing that. Uh, Slam this one to the ground. Uh, I mean, it's, when I say it's box stock, it's just box stock build as far as the engine, the interior, but there's nothing stock about this, uh, up, what's up underneath it. If you'll look up underneath there, uh, I took a, um, uh, I took the rear end, which is actually out from under an old Lindbergh, uh, Ford panel, uh, wagon kit. And I adapted that to, uh, uh, to the, uh, to the frame of this and did a, uh, kind of like a, a ladder bar, uh, uh, a ladder bar, uh, style, uh, rear suspension. Uh, as far as the, uh, I kept the, uh, uh, as far as the front end right there, as far as the front suspension, that's all kit, but I, I lowered it extensively. 
And if I remember correctly, I think in my uh, I think in my playlist I have a tutorial about how I lowered the suspension on this kit. So if you're interested in building something like this, drop uh, just go back to my uh, go back to my playlist. Look in there, and I think it's uh, lowering the monogram F100 suspension uh, is how how it's labeled. So if you want to see that, another thing that I did right there was, uh, just bent me up some headers. Uh, no, I'm sorry, not headers, but I bent me up some exhaust, uh, put me some, uh, uh, uh the, uh, the exhaust system right there. I just fabricated that all out myself. It's all aluminum tubing. And, uh, that's pretty much it. That's what rounds out this build. But, uh, this was a fun build. I really learned a lot when, when I was building it. And, uh, but just, you know, thanks to the help of folks in the community, uh, especially with Shane, I really appreciated taking, you know, being able to pick his brain about his build and being able to implement it into my own build. I uh, didn't want to completely copy his all the way around, uh, but just, uh, just decided I wanted to do something a little bit different, but take just little bits and pieces from his and put it into mine. But there it is. Uh, this is what I call double nickel. And it was, uh, uh, carried this one around to a lot of shows. Uh, I think I've shown this one at Acme and just a lot of the local shows. Uh, and I believe I carried it down into Florida uh, a lot for uh, some of the shows down there. But there she is. Uh, we'll leave her, we'll leave her parked at that stance right there. Uh, that's, that's pretty, pretty impressive right there as far as the look on that truck right there. This is the old monogram, uh, uh, old monogram kit that was out a long time ago. Uh, I've got the Foos F100 kit in my stash. I think I got a couple of them. One of these days, I might try to build that one up and see how, see how it turns out compared to this one right here. So, but anyhow, that's it right there. Appreciate everybody's uh, response uh, to what they wanted to see last night uh, on the hangout out of my old stash. And I really appreciate it. And Really had fun last night doing that, so be looking for that coming here pretty soon. Just about, uh, I'm gonna try to do it. Uh, might not do it every Friday night, but I'll try to start doing it uh, maybe every other, or maybe twice a month. So, anyhow, folks, appreciate it. Hope y'all have a great rest of your weekend. Remember, if you can dream it, build it. God bless y'all. Pappy out of here.